all the maneuverability in the entire world. Um, not so much with Quick Draw, but with the other two. And we'll just have to outlast and outkill here. Right. Meanwhile, Ryan is going to be trying to get those proton bombs on those guys. And bomblets are pretty decent. And the variability there um, can make or break a list, as we saw yesterday in the match between Evan Cameron and Cameron Murray, uh, in which uh, Cameron Murray had blank outs on all of his oh. bombs. Oh, I think he that hit hurts. with six cluster mine nodules, That's and he didn't not what get a single expecting. damage out of it. Well, at least in this list, Sabine snuck her way in, so mm -hmm. you're right. at least getting one guaranteed at some point with that your is, bombs going off. That is pretty huge. And if Crimson Leader can rattle a target and get a Proton on it and Sabine triggers, that's three damage, one face-up automatically to hull, one critical damage, and one regular damage. That could be really nasty. And, of course, Ezra's got R3A2, so... Philip is going to have to watch out for getting stressed uh, by those ships. So they've started off. Can we see the base plate? Yeah, that is Crimson Specialist. Yep. So we got them coming in fast along the side. Ezra turning away to present his butt arc to the Imperials. <laughs> It's still a good arc. Yep. Oh yeah. In fact, in the Sheath of Pete, it's just as good. Most of the most of the ships that have a a back arc don't have as many dice yeah, at the back less arc. Up, the Sheath yeah. of Pete's exactly the same. So here comes Countdown, shimmying out like a river eel. Look at him go, slither, slither. <laughs> So what do you think are the target priorities here on either list? Well, Philip would love to kill Ezra. Right. Doesn't want to deal with all that stress. And Sabine's also aboard, so that... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, it's a, a, a pendulous Ezra at 29 points. It's right. a bit expensive. Yeah, so for sure. Kill that guy, half point of bomber, and even if uh, Philip loses countdown, he's good. Usually when you play Countdown, Countdown isn't vulnerable until he becomes expendable. What? Um, which is a great ability in a ship. Uh, oh, you're just watching. Oh. So we have Philip fanning his ships out uh, in his corner of the board. We have bombers, two BSFs, lining up for long runs around the side, although he might just cut them in through the rocks. We'll see. But if he cuts them in through the rocks, so... That's that's a rocky path through there. It is, especially for those guys. Um, they have two turns, uh, but that's the only turn they have. No, wait, they have a one turn, but it's red. Right, yeah. They're not super agile ships, I don't believe. No. And honestly, they don't care too much about their actions. It's nice for them to have a focus token, but really they're going to get stuff done bombing. Yeah, that's all they care about. They can drop those in a good spot. They're good to go. So the trick with the, with flying these BSFs is you want to keep your target constantly in front of you, trying to keep the rain, uh, the, the the five maneuver template range uh, directly in between you. Right. So if they try to come at you, uh, you pop the the bomb on them. And with four proton bombs and a crimson leader, uh, there's a lot of choice there. So we got a three bank. That might indeed be a rock. That is Ooh, on the rock. Yeah, he just doesn't care. Like, one damage. No, yeah. Or 12. Yeah, they have a lot. Deal. He takes it. It is a damage. Going through a rock with one of these guys is often worth it. You won't get any shots, but you can still use your bombs uh, on the subsequent round from a position your opponent may not have expected you to be in. That's true. Which yeah. is totally worth it. So he's moving Ezra First, that's a turn order. Oh, he must have stalled with the specialist. Oh, no, sorry. That was the specialist this that went on the next. rock. Yeah. Never mind me. I don't know how to read stuff. <laughs> that's all right. I'll do the reading for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so that was the adaptive ailerons. Correct. And now he's doing the one straight. 
Coming up around the back. Flanky flank flank. Now it's really dangerous to flank and get close to Crimson Specialist because as previously mentioned, Crimson Specialist can place his bombs anywhere touching his base. So. That's nasty. It is. That leaves a huge no-fly zone around him. Yeah. But uh, Countdown is fine with doing passes. Same with Kylo. A lot may hang on how well Phillips' attack dice perform for him. If he gets good variants, um, then he'll do well in this match. Yeah, no, he could just load right into them. They don't have, what do they have, one green die on those bombers? Yeah. Man, did he hit another rock with uh, Crimson Specialist? Oh, I, I didn't quite see. I don't know if he nicked it with that back corner or not. Well, he didn't roll a die, so I guess he didn't. So we got a five straight and a boost coming from Kylo. And Quick Draw's deciding, nah, I don't want to take two bombs in the face. <laughs> Follow the team. <laughs> Turn around. Barrel rolling. I think Philip has to be particularly careful with count uh, with uh, Quick Draw here because she can't run like the other two can run. Right, the other two are much faster. What? I believe these players' records are one and one. Right, yeah, we're not seeing a top table here, but we're seeing a couple of really good players still. So it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top here. Yeah, this is really... This is the sort of uh, research that we need to do with the meta. We need to find out how good bombers are versus in bases like this. Uh, this has been some experiment, but not a whole lot with the BSFs. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how this goes yeah. down. You don't see those BSFs out very much. I think I saw one at the Swiss yesterday, because mm -hmm. this is a two-day Swiss leading into the cut, which will take place tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw one. I flew against one, actually. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. That was Jack, right? Yeah, it was Jack. Yeah. I think Don played him, too. <laughs> we all played him. Yeah, I really like Crimson Specialist. Uh, it's a fun ship. Uh, Kentium DC, I don't know what your question is about. Uh, is Roll Sand still around in Chinatown? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Sorry. We're, we're gaming nerds. We, like, go to our game stores and, you know... You don't get much more than that. <laughs> it's well. pretty accurate. <laughs> okay. I was speaking for you there, but it's turned out it was accurate. <laughs> All right. So what are we waiting for here? Ezra's dial. Yeah, it is kind of Last Jedi, isn't it, soon to your fell? Well, you can't be mad at that then. No. Thematic. Thematic indeed. All right. I'm going to get into the action here. <laughs> Unless the bomb room stall. Loves um, that rock. He does. Doesn't care about it at all. Well, they might if they take a whole bunch of damage from those rocks. That he looks like another one. hit. So Crimson Specialist is down two. Ezra must go next. Is a four straight, which is red, so it will stress him right. automatically, which is kind of good for Ezra. He doesn't mind being stressed. It means he gets the... Uh, the danger is the Imperials can get in on him before he can stress himself with R3A2. Um, and then your Ezra can get shot down in one round. <laughs> right. I mean, it's dice variance with Ezra, right? I mean, he seems really tough. When you're rolling against attacks and eyeballs and evades count as successes. Um, but I've had him die. We have a self bump here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, that's going to be a bump. Let's see what they decide. There's Philip Horney's handsome head. Oh, they're going to try it.
That's not clear. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, maybe it does. I don't know. I guess they've decided it hasn't. I think that's just fine with quick draw. Or uh, countdown, rather. Yep. Well, Tenuous Copper, we don't know if it was a cunning plan or an error, so we're going to have to assume will, it was a cunning plan. We will find out, I'm sure. And we've got a hard one. So Crimson Leader will take a stress. Red Maneuver, that's right. And Kylo is going to actually do some shots. Look at this. It's a bit risky, but of all the people to go in and shoot, Kylo's the best choice. Because he can take two reposition actions and then do a maneuver. Right. Yeah, he, he looks ready for this. Now, he is in the arc of Crimson Leader. So Crimson Leader will be able to take some nonsense shot at him, cancel <laughs> a die, and assign the rattled uh, condition to him. Mm, right. Wow. Philip called that there. That's the right attack vector for quick draw. Is he going to B roll? He's thinking about his actions here. Oh, checking for target lock in air quotes. Target lock. <laughs> Interesting choice there. Yeah, I would have thought his positioning there was good to come up. Oh, I see what he's thinking. So uh, Crimson Specialist will have to get off that rock. Will most likely get off that rock. Actually, come to think of it, Crimson Specialist might just stall on that rock and launch bombs. But supposing he doesn't take a rock for a third round, um, then he'll have to come forward. So Quick Draw can, like, three bank and take a shot at the side. Oh. Oh. And then disengage. So we've got, uh, so he spins the focus and he does hit, hit, crit. Yes. And it's two dice and there's no successes there or that one's Deciding cocked. if it's cocked. There we go, so it's two. So that will be one shield and a crit into Crimson Specialist. Nice. Hole. We've got a direct. Direct hit. So, there is now only seven hull remaining on Crimson Specialist. Is my that? math right? No. Yeah, 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 my math's right. I'm trying to count all those little tiny boxes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... All right. Did, that was the Crimson did, leader on Kylo. Forgot to assign the condition, I guess. Whoops. Whoops, indeed. No condition token went down. Hmm. I mean, Countdown can do a bank one, aileron, and then he can do another bank one and just take a long range shot. Crimson Specialist as he presents himself. Yeah, for <coughs> sure. Kylo can get the heck out of there. With so many moves, it's almost hard yeah, to Yeah, I was going to say, which which one will, will, will he choose? I mean, a five straight's probably too dangerous. He could yeah. just go with the two straight and then adapt it as he needs to. Right. Maybe a three straight. Oh, the chat is saying, uh, thank you, MDL, uh, that only hits that are canceled by the Crimson Leader can assign the condition, not blanks and eyeballs. Thanks. That's helpful. He learns something new every day. Yep. This is why we have the chat. Indeed. 
Oh, he's, his cunning plan seems to think I'm real hard about it now. There's a lot of rocks in there. I have a feeling he's going to hit a few more this game. Well, Ryan wants ships to fly into those rocks with him so he can use one guy to block. Right. Drop a bomb as he does so, usually with Crimson Specialist, and trap those aces in there. But Kylo is really, really hard to trap. Yeah, no. With all that repositioning before he can even mm -hmm. move. So here comes the bomblet from Crimson Specialist. Launching that. And I'm going to call... Man, what the heck does he do? Is he on another rock? Bank three, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that looks yeah. like it'll be okay. Yeah, well, wow. oh, not Kyla, though. So do we think Countdown is going to be up in the area of that bomblet when it goes off? Nope. No? All nah. right. Because of the, the aileron uh, maneuver is chosen when you reveal the dial. Or before right, you yeah, the no, dial, you're right. He doesn't have to. He'll have a maneuver in there which he can just choose to Work disengage. with that. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Hard two for Ezra. And this is the real trap. Uh, if Phil does decide to jump through the position that the bombers hold and the rocks and manages to do it. Then he's uh, got Ezra to deal with. Ezra will stress it. However, Kylo doesn't really care about one stress. Yep. A little more aggressive than I thought he'd go, but it looks good. So Crimson Specialist weighs in at 32 points. What's happening here? Another launch? This is a uh, proton bomb. Right. So while Kylo could take that bomblet, if he had to, does not want to take that proton bomb. While he really has left very few places for Kylo to go. However... If Kylo has a fast maneuver, he can get out of there. If he did a short maneuver, he's stuck. Yeah, you can see that Ryan is really trying to block in those ships, mm -hmm. for sure. <coughs> and now it's the pause to think about the million different things Kylo can do. It's gonna have to really think about it, for sure. Don't wanna make a mistake in here. Well, if he did the two straight, like I suggested, or the three straight. So long as he doesn't have, like, a two-turn, I think he's okay. Even the two-turn may get him out of the bomb situation. He <laughs> barrel rolls. Boost and then a barrel roll. So the info on the proton bomb is on the side here. That's very handy. Five straight. So oh, he's just getting out. <laughs> Wise choice. He's close to half points on the Crimson Specialist, so this is fine. Yeah, you're right. And it looks like... Crimson Specialist is going to have to roll in his plating. And there's the expected engagement from Quick Draw. Yep, for sure. Taking that focus, ready to go. Well, he's going to half point Crimson Specialist for sure this turn. Yeah, and that Crimson Specialist is uh, flying through some more rocks, so you never know what's going to happen with the dice on those. So here he's rolling for plating versus the proton bomb on uh, Crimson Leader. And his deflected plating goes away. So he's now vulnerable to his own bombs. That might be rough. He's going to take a bomb on the leader. 
And there's the handy reference card for defle deflective plating for those of you who have not played it, like myself. So he takes a crit from that bomb. It's okay. It's on the shield. So Crimson Leader is down a shield. And I guess he took... Oh, no, he rolled on the plating. Oh, no, the plating broke for Crimson Specialists. So both the BSFs... Oh, no. Have lost That's probably plating. not what he wants to see in the first engagement. No, I've played uh, the Specialist a few times now, and there's a huge difference between the games where your plating doesn't break right. in the first couple bomb drops and then the ones where it does. Yeah, absolutely. You're taking a huge chance with that, though. Yep. And quick draw for three. three. And nothing for Crimson Specialist. So four hull on that guy. Crimson Leader lose a shield on the bomblet? Yes. yes. And that was three damage into the Specialist. So he's now at four hull. Got the half points there. Yeah, those. once you start shooting at those, they go down fast. Crimson Leader is deciding what to do. So, Racha says, I believe this game is lost for Ryan. It's looking bad, Racha. That's true, but, but you with never these know. Bombs and Quick Draw just took a. Sh oh, Kylo took a shield damage. He's assigning a uh, crit to. I'll show you the dark side. I'll show you the dark side. <laughs> I'll show you. What will he show him? Um, blinded, maybe? <laughs> Racha says he should be using debris. Well, there are two considerations there. One, it's less bad for him, given the way he's flying. But then it would be less bad for his opponents, too. Well, how many greens do those ships have? It would probably be hard to clear stress on them, yeah? Yeah. Countdown only gets one. So he spends it. And naturally. <laughs> no. oh, those things are huge. They are. They are knocked all over the place. Right. That's why you want to pay attention to the board state. Yeah, I can't get over how big those things are. So we are back to dials right now? Yep, I don't think Ezra has a shot. No, Ezra's too far oh, no. away. Cr uh, Crimson Specialist gets a shot. Oh, yeah, you're right. And he'll shoot countdown because he doesn't dare shoot at quick draw in this position. One damage. Just... Countdown. Oh, doesn't get countdown's any taking it. Oh, wait. He's got lightweight frame. Oh, but it was only two dice. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, only two dice attack. Those lightweight frames are doing nothing. Yep, not until he gets into range one. Yeah. But if he gets into range one, he'll take a bomblet. I mean, one huge advantage that Philip has here is his guy's all-out PS Crimson Specialist. Uh, yep, countdown, yeah. countdown took a damage. No, Countdown lost a, countdown lost a hull. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there's still plenty of them yet. He is not yet the final Countdown. <laughs> yeah, they only have four health, don't they? Seem really squishy. Don't feel bad for us soon, Tier Fell. Uh, we signed up to be commentators. And yes, we're saving you from Ghost Fen here. This we're is, working hard. This is on purpose. Yeah. There's not a huge amount of Ghost Fen here today, but there is some. And there was some yesterday. We do. Uh, this match, again, was chosen uh, for the Philip Horny fans. The Bomber fans. I'm both, yeah, actually. No, there's a little BSFs. bit of everything in here for everyone. You can't hate on it too hard. 
these guys are one and one, so we've only had two rounds so far. So the idea, we don't really have top tables yet. Um, so one and one. But both of these guys are fairly experienced. Indeed, Philip is world famous. <laughs> so, you know, we're going we're for those it to viewers. You. Tell all it your to you. friends on VT TV Live. We've got Philip Horney. Indeed. And Ryan D from Gonk Squadron out of Guelph. So, with all these funky bomb delivery mechanisms, you might forget that. The BSFs can still drop their bombs. The, the normal bombs, way. The normal way. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, now, I think Quick Draw does two left. I mean, I wouldn't do anything else. Um, eh, she could do two right. Will she fit there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Time to take a few shots with that back arc and work your way back around. I mean, uh, as far as Philip needs to be concerned here, uh, Quick Draw can let that bomber shoot at her butt for days. Yeah, days. exactly. Don't care. <laughs> and how does uh, Countdown get out? I mean, he, he could head towards... No. So he's got to worry that Crimson Leader can drop a proton bomb on him after he moves. So. There's just so much to take into consideration in flying against these bombers. So Countdown's going to go somewhere where... Uh, All right, so we see the bomblet being placed okay. off of the base. His plating broke. That's he doesn't care, him. apparently. So through another rock. And eating a bomblet. It's not it's all part of the plan. likely to kill him, but could hurt him. That's uh, another, he took another hit damage from a rock. Oh, man. Oh, the rocks are not on his side today. That's three damage that uh, the Crimson Specialist has taken. Okay, so it looks like oh, Philip. Did we? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. we need Ezra, Ezra to go yeah. first. So Ezra swings in. Quick draw might switch targets to Ezra. Oh, you know what? It doesn't look like quick draw can get away from that bomb. Too hard barrel. Barrel. Yeah, yeah. I think she can. Yeah. I think she can. No, I, th I think you're right. Oh, he's trying to coordinate an action to Grimson Specialist. But he doesn't have it. Doesn't reach. So he just takes a focus. Countdown is a three bank. Right. Because that's where Crimson Leader cannot drop a bomb. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. There's way out the forward, end. Yeah. Or at the butt. Is he going to B roll? I don't think the launch bomb hits him. No, I don't, I don't think so either. Countdown's ability can't do anything about bomb drop damage. And bomb drop damage is not going to be Countdown's friend if Countdown is taking yeah, it. He'll take two damage. One of them will be a face-up. And that, that face-up could be the end. It could well, yeah. So he's just going to focus. And he's going to get stressed this round. Ooh, Countdown may be in trouble. Where is this bomber? Bomb? No, I think he's doing a turn. He's thinking about it. Yep. I don't think that hits, so I wouldn't drop. There's only three proton bombs left. Yeah, and I think so far the bombs have been doing more damage to him than the opponents. Yeah, Philip hasn't taken any damage from. <laughs> yeah, so that's. Just, I don't just think one so. Lucky hit on countdown. Sometimes when watching X-Wing games, I think we should have like permanent helper hands on every game. I mean, there's no way to organize that socially, but it would be yeah. ideal. Because it can just get so complicated. It does. Focus up. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we waiting on now? Kylo? Yeah. 
Kylo does the Talon. Very nice. I thought he'd go around for Ezra. But I guess he's going to work on these bombers. Yeah. I They're mean, an easy kill once you start Ezra, laying into them. Ezra has no... Wow. Oh, quick draw. Oh. Whew. <coughs> Not the move we expected. Nope. That is a just just a bomblet, we have to remember, not a proton bomb. Right. So that's just two dice plus Sabine. Uh, that could be all a quick draw shield. Could be. So here we got the bomblet roll, right? Yep. Let's see. Uh, crit in a blank. Crit in a blank. So it takes one shield, two shields. I imagine there, yeah, there's the Sabine for two shields. Okay. Quick draw triggers. Ah. Ah, I see the plan. Kill Ezra. Oh, okay. no. Double tap. Yes. Yeah. Front and back shot. Right, because there's... I guess we'll find out if it was worth taking the bomblet for. Mm -hmm. Ezra is really tempting. Oof. Is that two hits? Yep. Now, does Philip switch the lock? Spends that focus. No, he doesn't spend the lock. He keeps it to make sure Crimson Specialist dies. So that's two going through? Two going through. And now quick draw will take a regular shot. Yeah. Oh, it's the bomb went next. So Crimson Specialist is gone. Oh yeah, he had to roll for that bomblet as well. Yeah. And now quick draw is regular shot. Right. Mm. So quick draws, what, sitting with one shield left and there's three hull points, shooting at Ezra. Yep. Two. Requires the target lock. Very nice. Will Ryan remember his elusiveness? It seems he does not, so he takes the damage. No shot for Kahlo. Too no far shot away. for Countdown. Yep. You were on to Ezra. Does Ezra have range on Countdown? Well, if he stresses, I mean, whichever one he stresses here. Okay, he focuses. For one, Countdown dodges. So Ezra's the control piece here, so whichever one of these ships he stresses is going to be a better position to be bombed next round, or at least responded to. Time to get quick draw. I mean, quick draw shields down. Oh no, quick draw has one shield quick, remaining. But if you take it out now, you don't have to worry about the return fire because it's once per round ability. Yeah, I don't think uh, Ezra will get the damage through here. Oh, it's only yeah, it's three dice with a rock. Yeah, he's fine. Well, Countdown is free to come in on Ezra. Ezra does have a Connor net, so if he were to clear his stress this round, he could drop it. But he'd really have to be sure about Quick Draw's maneuver. Still, Quick Draw's stressed, so one, two, three straight, or one banks. I don't see a great position for the counter net drop. No, I don't think so. 
what what clears the stress? You, oh, you straights and then the two banks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what will clear it. So, hello, Timbo. How's it going? Hello, friends. We got a famous uh, X-wing oh, caster here. Oh, Rebel Bomber. Here we go. Yep. Now we we're had, talking. There was Crimson Specialist a while back, but he's gone now. Uh, and we've got. What an interesting matchup. Kylo, quick draw, and countdown. Definitely an interesting matchup. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it races hate bombs, but can the bombers capitalize on positioning is a question. Yeah. <laughs> so Ryan brought his bombers through the asteroid field, taking a couple hits of damage while he did, mm. uh, in order to try to trap Phillips' uh, guys. But Phillips stayed pretty cool. He's only taken one damage from a bomb on quick draw, which seemed to be on purpose, so he could do a double tap, which eliminated Crimson Specialist. And uh, uh, Phillips got a pretty strong lead right now. Seems like it. Yeah, he can bring all three of those arcs onto Ezra, most likely. Uh, and Ezra's down a shield, I think. No, Ezra's still at full. Yeah, no, Ezra hasn't been hit yet. <laughs> How you been holding up there, Aaron? You sipping on your soup? Yep. Got me some tea. Good stuff. Emily, can I get you anything? No, I'm wonderful. Thank sure. you. Sure. Yep. Don, you need a Nutri-Grain bar? No? All you folks out in the internet land, make sure you show your love to these folks by going <laughs> over to that Patreon. Yeah. We're yeah, working hard here. directly into my bank account. No, not really. <laughs> we see nothing for this. We're just volunteers who love X-Wing. Couple of nerds. Yes. So right. here's Ezra. Do we think he's going to drop this Connor net? Uh, where's the stress. Where's Quick Draw going to be going? Probably not. Quick Draw's doing a one straight. Yeah. She's no danger from the Crimson Leader this turn. She might do a one bank. Yeah, no, she's got to clear that stress and. Countdown is going to whip around like a dangerous snake and start shooting at Ezra. <laughs> That's probably not good to do into a microphone. <laughs> yeah, maybe go to the Patreon because we're about to break these mics. <laughs> and it's not a great shot for Countdown, but it's still when a you're shot. Flying ships with dice variants like this. Oh, he's worried about the proton bomb out the butt. Oh, and he doesn't want to block Kylo. Getting out of there. Phil GC says QD is going to wreck Ezra. That's how it's looking. That's probably accurate. I think yep. from now on to do this commentary, I'm just going to repeat what's said in the chat because you guys <laughs> seem to know pretty well what's going on here. I mean, the counter net's bad for quick draw, but without the rattle condition, it's two damage at most. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so we are dropping the bomb. And we have a three bank. So Crimson Leader is desperately trying to turn back around. That's what he has to do. But Quick Draw is just uh, got his flank and is not giving it up. So we got a two bank for Kylo, safe. Yeah, it looks like Ezra is going to probably be hit kind of hard this turn. Yep. He may actually have Vanguard in operation at this range. So I don't know if you know, but Kylo Ren's title, First Order Vanguard, oh, it is the one bank. I'll explain that as soon as we see this position. Oh, yes. yeah, that's fine. Or unless it's a bump. Uh, that, I think that's a bump. Oh. Ooh, it's an opportunity for Ezra to drop his counter net. An opportunity for Ezra to show his quality. Oh yeah, he's got quick draw with Connor in next round, and now quick draw is in range, making use of the title impossible. Oh no, quick draw! It wasn't a bump. Wow. What's happening? What have we got here? Three Phil's hits? Bluey. 
Three hits. Three hits. Oh, two naturals. So one damage is all. That could have so been a lot worse yeah, for Ezra. Seems, uh, Philip has committed himself to hunting down Ezra next. Yeah. Which is the right choice. Yeah, no, that Crimson Leader is taking the long way around. Yeah. So I like these BSF bombers, but I really feel you need good attack ships to go with them. I, there are a few variations on this uh, two bombers and a sheathapede list, which is kind of neat because the sheathapede can coordinate an action to them. Right. Um, unless you've got some gums to keep pressure on your target, uh, if you get out of position with the bombers, you can just spend rounds yeah, trying to get back. Yeah, their attacks aren't aren't what's doing it. They need to yeah. get those bombs off effectively. So while it's not a competitive list of the high tier, I fly two X-Wings with, uh, with uh, Crimson Spec, and it's a lot of fun. And the X-Wings can put pressure on you to force you into Crimson Specialist's pack. <laughs> They're measuring, measuring. And what are we checking for here? I think we're checking to see if uh, Crimson Leader's shot on quick draw is obstructed. Ah. Philip was squinting, so he was really making an effort. To That's right. It. That's how you see better. To squint. So it looks like they just rolled to make the call. Okay, old school. Two damage, is he counseling? Oh no, he can't assign the rattled when the target is out of arc. 30 minutes from in the round. Quick draw rolls all the dice. That's a lot of natural evades. Nothing for countdown. So we're going to see the pressure stay on Ezra here for sure. And Ezra is a very evasive ship. I haven't done the math exactly, but when your eyeballs count as evades, it's pretty good. And it's a pain. Yeah, well, I ain't taking that from a Ghost Fen player. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra's just fine. He's fine. Is it Sabine card? Yeah, so you, we're, we're going to see the Connor net this round, yeah? I think so. One bank Connor net and splat. If the one bank clears that rock. If it doesn't, uh, Connor net, two bank, uh, two bank will do it anyway. The only problem then is Kylo rolls up and range ones the guy. <laughs> yeah. And Countdown oh. does something similar. Similar. Uh, MDL. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the two bank and the Connor will be okay. One bank might be fine here. I don't know. Or you can just drop it in front of Quick Draw so it happens in the activation phase. Oh, no, that's not good for him. No, no, no. Quick Draw still has the shield. Here's the Connor net. So now the damage will happen after Quick Draw does her move, which means she will double tap Ezra this round. So Ryan probably wasn't thinking about it, but. Yeah, is that? That really is going to work badly for him. <laughs> Now, does Quick Draw a barrel roll? Or does he take the focus? Takes the focus, goes for the dice. Yeah, he's really going all in, trying to yep. kill that Ezra. So see, these last couple of rounds, the Crimson Leader has not presented any threat of a trajectory simulator, so... Done nothing. It's, it's as though it isn't a 38-point ship. Yeah. 
you know. I can see exactly what you mean about needing to keep the position and have something powerful on the side. All those ships are so bulky. Yep. Well, it's quite a wide table, uh, so it is difficult to reach across. They yeah. have a luxury. Look how much space they have to keep all their stuff over there. Oh, I totally you agree. You can't see it all on this screen, but they have a lot of table space for all of their stuff. What's that? Oh, that's Quick Draw's target lock. I guess he just focuses. Oh, he could... Uh, he's seeing if he can do a bank boost. I think that might put him out. I wouldn't bother. Oh, Here we go. Yeah. That's going to be a disaster for Lined us, right? up for a good shot. Yep. Probably, I'm sure he must have seen that coming. I don't think so. I think the two bank and then the Connor net would have kept him safe from quick draws retaliation shot. Uh, Sabine damage. There we go. And Into the hull. Right. Here comes the double tap. Yeah. Now, hopefully Ryan will remember his elusiveness this time and trigger it on the first attack. Right. Hit crit. Oh, he has there we go. Very good. <laughs> Elusiveness. And it rolls into hit hit. Oh, double Ezra don't fades. Care. So now it's Quick Draw's regular shot. <laughs> What's he deciding, one wonders? Yeah. So that is. Hit focus. No, he's using the target lock just in case Ezra tries to shoot quick draw again. Yeah, absolutely. And Ezra dodges his all. Oh. Still not as broken as the ghost. I never said it was broken. <laughs> Hard to hit, frustrating for sure, but there's a lot of frustrating stuff in the game. Kylo. He only hits two. <laughs> and Ezra double evades again. Wow. Well, I guess he's getting no damage on him. He's proving to be quite difficult to get off the board. Still, is that out of range? I think so. I think it's so. range. It might be obstructed. Oh, yeah. Does Crimson Leader have a target lock? I guess she does. Is that what the big F is? Yeah. Okay. The big F. There you go. Two hits. Let's see. And Quick Draw Quick takes another damage. Yeah. And oh. next round she's. Oh, no. Did, she's she didn't gone. have a focus token? No, she did not. Oh, that's a dead Quick Draw. Why didn't she have a focus token? Did she not take one or did she spend one on something? This was the first shot on her in this round. Hmm. Well, that just swung things. Yeah, for sure. So we have a one point lead for Ryan. And Ezra is continuing to be unhittable. Oh, yeah. Can't right. action when Connored. Thank you, Phil GC. <laughs> so no damage got through there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, that... Ezra being so hard to kill is turning things around. 
What's funny, um, I was talking to Philip before this, and he was saying that although he enjoys his list, the problem with it is dice variance. Absolutely. Like, you, you can get into great positions and not hit squat. Right, yeah. Those two dice primaries are very meh. No, no, this is Philip saying it, right? Because oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Countdown only ever has one mod if he's in it. Right, yeah, yeah. It. Um, and Kylo is very subject to variance. I mean, sometimes he gets target lock focused. Yeah. Sometimes he has the title going on. He doesn't have a quick draw like that one we saw earlier today with yeah. expertise and all that fun stuff. Okay. What does Phil do now? Yeah, I was going to say, should he still be staying on Ezra, or do you think he moves to Crimson Leader? Because how do the points work out if he gets half on Crimson Leader at this point? He wins if he doesn't also lose Countdown. Right. And, yeah, Countdown's <coughs> just kind of, I'd say barely hanging in there, but I guess Countdown has only lost one haul. Yeah. And there are two Proton Bombs left on... Yep, we only saw two of them. On uh, Crimson Leader. We've got 20 minutes left in the round. Fun walk. Ezra isn't a Jedi. He's a Padawan. who can't be confirmed in the Order. Also, <laughs> he's hanging out with whales. <laughs> so take that, Internet. Yeah. Um, so, in all likelihood, Crimson Leader is swinging around here. Oh, yeah. He could stall, but I don't think so. <coughs> Ezra's banking too. Oh, and clear to stress. Uh, focus? He hasn't gotten any other actions, so he just focuses. Oh, he's got back to thrusters, right? Yeah. Tricky. Tricky little she the peed. Swoosh. Countdown passes through the rock. However, that will not prevent Countdown from taking actions on this regular maneuver. It doesn't take any damage from the rock. You can adaptive ailerons through rocks? Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, and so long as your regular maneuver, not your aileron maneuver, does not cause you to overlap anything, right. you get okay. to take an action. Mm -hmm. So... He appears to be switching targets. Now he's got to think about being stressed next round because Ezra's got him in his butt arc. I think a judge call is being made on the very question we're, we just spoke about. Oh, yeah. And since I played uh, Strikers at a regional as soon as they were out of the box, like shortly after they came out, um, and the judge ruled against it, against uh, the strikers being able to Going take actions. Through. Okay, yeah. Uh, after their aileron passed through a rock, I am very salty and remember. <laughs> uh, so afterwards, uh, FFG clarified, and you do indeed get your action when you do that. Yep. The judge just made the call. Yep. Although, yeah, there's no way you would know that if you've never come across it before. Yeah. I mean, it was it was one of those disagreements that people had a great length. Okay, so we've got a three straight here. I wonder what he's thinking. Oh, yeah, he didn't swing around like we thought. Because I agree, I thought he was going to swing around. He may try to present his butt to Phillips' guys. I mean, it must be that the half-point strategy is fairly obvious for uh, right. both of them right now. And... He feels he has to get him out of there. Just run away. But he can't run away from Kylo. <laughs> he can try. He can try. 
and Countdown is also similarly ridiculously fast. Oh yeah, but I'm talking about like, so when we start doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the maneuver, which is a two bank. Like, they're not paying people to come on and guess how it gets. Hanging real hard here about the actions. Target lock. Oh, and yeah, I guess he's got to worry about that Ezra shot. Yeah, Ez yeah, Ezra's got him. Not much. It's pretty tough. He's going to go ahead and maneuver over there. Coming around the rock. Is he Title. still in that arc? I don't think so. Title will be active. He's going to barrel roll. Push to barrel roll. That's interesting. I'm not sure why he bothered with that. I think he was still pretty close to being in Ezra's arc. He might have been. Oh, okay. Or getting some range on that bomber. Yeah, but he doesn't like being stressed because of those no, bombs. No, you're right. Does he have arc? We're going to decide. We are in one of those situations where both players feel the need to look at the arc, which is fine. It happens. Yeah. If it comes up, then you need to go with it. Fifteen minutes remaining. So... In order for Philip to win, he needs to bring Crimson Leader down to six hole. Wow. Was that a damage onto Countdown? Onto Countdown. Countdown shot. Yeah. Yeah, I kill countdown, then there's not that fear of the points. Got some love from countdown. How many dice does he have? Enough to take only one. Oh, are we into all the Crimson Leader? What is going on over there? Oh no, I think he's just spread out his damage cards. Yeah, yeah. They're just shuffling around because there's so many of them. So the card is assigned and it's blinded. Makes sense. Always a good choice. Mm -hmm. So that means Crimson Leader is in fact on two shields, eight hull. So, with both Countdown and Kylo stressed, he can't do what he'd like to do and rush towards the butt of Crimson Leader. He has to be afraid of proton bomb possibilities. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, he can do the three bank with Kylo and probably get out of proton bomb range. As was coming around. See if yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a good arc for Ezra. No. Although Ezra doesn't mind. At this point he's like, I'm ahead. Oh that's a good call for countdown. Yeah. He just does a hard one, retains the stress. Actually it was a tricky call because Ezra could have K turned there. So next round, he can do a maneuver to clear his stress, probably a three straight, and have no fear of proton bombs. Comes Crimson Leader. Yep, who's running, Yeah. not even dropping bombs. Like, I've had enough of this. For time. I mean, with barely ten minutes left, mm -hmm. running for time makes sense. If Philip gambled, however. 
Nope, you just did the two straight. Boosting around. Mm -hmm. tell them how much time it means. Okay, good idea. So we have 10 minutes remaining in round three of six. Mm. Do so. I think we'll see another three bank at a crimson yeah. meter. Is Kylo going to be able to keep up with him, get some shots? Yep. Again, the worry is proton bombs. Yeah, for sure. But you can advance sensors to barrel roll, right? Three turn, which isn't green, sorry. Uh, two turn. It's not great. It's crazy how much these games can swing. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, it looked totally over for Ryan, but he is with yeah. Ezra as the MVP over here. Yeah, that was the round that turned it. All that fire went into Ezra with no result. Yeah. And Crimson Leader got a lucky range three shot on Quick Draw to kill her. So things have pretty much gone after that rough start. <coughs> hinged on the kind of build that Ryan had built here. Yeah, absolutely. Now Ezra sneaking up behind Countdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, Countdown's only sitting at two hull, so could go for those points and really set it in your favor. Yep. There's the three straight. That's rough for Countdown. Uh, he'll have to decide whether or not to hold on to his focus. I think I would if I'm Philip. I think so too. Oh, onto a rock. Okay, that's a bit better for Countdown. We've seen a lot of damage off of that rock. We have, it's the same rock. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. That's another one. <laughs> that rock is the MVP of this game. He still didn't drop that bomb. Wow, Philip just went for it. Zoom, zoom. I think that's range for Kylo. Oh, yeah, it's definitely range. So things may have swung here for, for, for Philip. If only he can get the dice. If he can get those half points. And he can't lose countdown. Right, yeah. No, but he's going to hold that focus for defense. He's got to if he wants to win. Well, he is countdown. So that was the title allowing a reroll. Yes. So only one damage got through. I think that was the last shield. Last shield. So he needs to get two more. Yeah, he needs to get two more damage through. So that's quite possible. Ezra's going to stress him. There's only one damage. Oh no, target lock. Two damage. Oh. He has. Oh, he can't use his ability. He's dead. Blanked out. Yeah. Oh, that hurts for Philip. It does. And oh, but they are at the same PS, so he does get to shoot. Yeah. And now means he has to finish Crimson Leader. And there. Countdown. <laughs> Let's him take Crimson Leader down to half. I think. That's yeah, I think so. two hit. Yeah. 
Based on the math you just did, I believe so. <coughs> I see no choice here but for Philip to charge in. He has to finish that crimson later. Oh, Ezra Bridger's down to two. Hmm. According to our display. Okay. Wow, we've had a lot of games today that went right to the very end. All of them. Yeah. I know that because every round I've had to pee. <laughs> We've been sitting here on the edges of our seats. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if uh, Ezra is on two hull, Kylo can rush in, shoot him in the face if he gets all four. Right. <coughs> There's nothing Ezra can do about that. Yes, there is. He can elusiveness him. Yes, he can. That's a very handy card that he's got on there. All right, let's see. As Rocha says, Ezra can respond by going three hard to the right. Ezra just run the uh, heck away. I think away. you mean left, Rocha. <laughs> Ezra's left, ship left. Does do a two. Which means he retains his stress, which means elusiveness isn't available to him if Kylo turns on him. Is this a bomb coming now? Yep. Five minutes left in the round. Why wouldn't he? Zip, zip. Crimson Leader runs. So Crimson Leader is giving him 19 points, and Ezra is 29. So together that is 58, 48. Yep. Yep. So... And we have Kylo turning on Ezra. Title is active, so he has a reroll. Three hits. It's through That's a rock, though. Oh. And that's two damage, so he's dead? Yeah. Yes. All okay. right. Ezra's gone. Kylo finally pulls some Kylo stuff. Yeah. We were waiting for that all game. Actually, come to think of it, the only movie, the only scene we see of Kylo in the silencer involves him not shooting somebody. That's right. Being all crybaby about it. Yeah. So maybe the fact that Kylo usually hits like a wet noodle is like totally thematic and accurate. <laughs> of course, we have to also agree that it's tough to shoot your mom. Well, not if you're all dark side-y. Wow, well, look at Kylo. Ray won't like him anymore if he goes around killing his mom. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah, so this looks like it is... Very swingy. Philip's game. Yeah, I don't see this anyway he can come back. Two minutes left. Well, two and a half, sorry. What's Philip doing? Is he coming in on the attack? He is. He's going oh, for the full points. Yeah. He's only got to get six damage. Dodging those proton bombs is pretty easy for Kylo. I mean, this is the same that thing we were like talking about earlier. Get as yep. many points as you can. That's what I do, but I don't expect to see it on stream anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you make one mistake and you end up losing the game and everyone's like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Crimson Leader. Crimson Leader. Does a bank one. There's not much else he can do. He can stall, yeah. but then he doesn't have a focus token, so he's got to do a maneuver. There's not, he can't output enough damage to finish this nah. his way. Even if he got the proton bomb on Kylo, still wouldn't kill Kylo. Oh, they both put down a dial and then rethought it at the same time. Mm hmm.
to back. All the things. Everything. I mean, he could hope for some really amazing crits. Yep. Never know. Spend that focus. We'll get one crit. Spend the focus. Damaged engine. Not so bad. It's not a major explosion or anything. Oh, can't see it. I imagine that was nothing. Yeah. Well, if Ryan was planning on doing a two turn in order to try to prevent Kylo from getting on him, he could still do it. Sorry? No. Zero damage you have Oh no. Uh, Crimson Leader took some. All right, dials are down and time has just been called, so they're gonna play this one out. Kyler still chasing down the Crimson Leader. So he got a range one shot? Yeah. Maybe. You roll blank and a bunch of focus. Well, excuse me, young ladies. Anybody sitting here? No, please join. Okay. Wow, what an end game. All of our games on the stream today have gone to.